Ooh, the torque, man. Hi, this is Omar at Top 5 E-Bikes, and this is a full review on the Magicycle Deer. I want to thank everyone for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to Top 5 E-Bikes, please do so right now. And also check out our website, top5ebikes.com, because we do have quite a few articles that we've been publishing on the website. In this review of the Deer, I'm going to go over the specs. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my experience riding this bike, and then I'm going to tell you things that I liked, I didn't like, and then I'm going to close it out for you and give you my final thoughts. All right, let's go over the specs of the Magicycle Deer, which they're calling the E-SUB. This is a full suspension e-bike, so you have the front suspension, and then you have the suspension in the middle of the frame, so it's a soft tail. So this is a fat tire, full suspension e-bike. It currently costs $24.99. There's actually a new version of this Deer. There's the Deer Lite that just came out, so Magicycle just released it. Same price, same specs. The only difference is that it has a smaller frame, so it can be for riders as low as 4.10, whereas this one I think is 5.2 is the lowest recommended height. And the light version is 10 pounds less than this one, so it's 82 pounds versus this one that's 92 pounds. Um, but let's go over the specs of this one. Again, the light is the same price. It's got the same specs as far as the battery, the motor, torque and all that stuff so it's just a smaller frame and it weighs less so i would say i'm going to start off with the battery and this is a 52 volt 20 amp hour battery so it's got a huge battery and it's got the 52 volt system so it's kind of nice because you get a little bit more power out of out of this uh, motor and out of the controller the motor is a 750 watt you can see it back there and it's got 96 newton meters of torque, so it's got a pretty good amount of, of torque on this motor. Again, you have, this is a full suspension, so there is the suspension in the middle of the frame, and then you got the front suspension. And it's got a very unique design, so it's not your typical full suspension design. Recently, I reviewed the, the Hachi Cheetah, which is more of your traditional bike frame and they added a suspension in the middle and that's what I would expect with the full suspension. This is a little bit different, so it's kind of cool that they have their own unique design. It does come in three different colors. So we got the yellow. Um, I do like this color, so I think it brings a lot of attention to the e-bike. So again, the color and then the design frame are two things that I really like. You have hydraulic brakes, so you have the Bengal Aries hydraulic brakes, you have 180 millimeter rotors, which you see up there in the front. You have an integrated front light, you have an integrated rear light. It does come equipped out of the box with the front and the back fender. And then you also have this rack, which is kind of nice. I love these type of racks that have, that are already set for panniers, because I tend to ride with a pannier bag and so I can just hook it on. So this e-bike out of the box, is set for you to use it to, for some cargo. All right, so now let's look at the cockpit. So you have these faux leather grips, and then you have the Shimano seven speed thumb shifter. And then you have a pretty bright display, although when I wear sunglasses, it's really tough to see. So it's what we're used to, this display with Magicycle. Um, and then you can change some of the settings out of the box, it does, the max speed is 20 miles per hour, and you're able to change the settings to uh, 20 miles per hour, which is what I did. They did a pretty good job with this bike of just integrating the wires, so wire management-wise, it's pretty cool. Um, so everything is just kind of tucked into the frame itself, and there's not many wires. And then the battery is also integrated, so you got it here on the bottom side. Then you have a Shimano Altus drivetrain, and then again, you have the front and the back fenders. So I think overall they did a really good job in just the packaging of this bike and the design and the colors. I really like the color and the design because it's different. Um, and the main features I like here are that 
it's a full suspension. You have a 52 volt system, so you have a 52 volt 20 amp hour battery. So you got a huge battery. You have a big motor with 96 meter, newton meters of torque, and it's a comfortable bike because it's a full suspension. Overall, it's been a pretty fun e-bike to ride because it's really comfortable. <laughs> so um, I think the fact that it's a full suspension e-bike ma has made it really comfortable to ride, especially for a fat tire e-bike. A lot of times we we suggest that you buy a suspension seat or you do some things to make it a little bit more comfortable to ride. This one, um, this bike has been pretty comfortable to ride. So one of the big takeaways for me is that it's been a really comfortable ride, um, just out of the box. The other thing is that it's got a powerful motor. So we've ridden a, a Magicycle e-bike in the past and um, legit 750 watt motor hits 28 miles per hour. And that's the same thing with this, with the deer. So it's got 96 newton meters of torque. Um, you got a 750 watt, got up to 28 miles per hour and you can easily get up to 28 miles per hour. So, um, so that's the other thing, the other big takeaway for me. We actually took this one on a mountain biking trail here in Santa Barbara because this is, I mean, if it's a full suspension, should be more of a mountain biking e-bike. Um, I wouldn't say that this is a bike that I would use for mountain biking, but um, for me, again, the biggest takeaways are that it's comfortable and it's powerful. Um, I also really liked the color and the design of the frame. So it's not your typical frame for an e-bike. Looks a little bit different. Um, and then I like the colors because I like these really bright colors. So. Really fun e-bike to ride. Um, I really enjoyed it. I took it on, like I was saying, a, a couple. So overall, it was a really fun bike to ride. Um, full suspension, pretty powerful motor, and um, comfortable to ride. So it was fun, it was comfortable. It is a little bit heavy, it's 92 pounds, so that's, for sure one of the negatives that I'll talk about later in the video and even the price because it's close to $2,500 so um, you know it's kind of a pricey bike but you do get a legit 750 watt motor it's comfortable so if you're looking for a comfortable fat tire e-bike that's easy to mount and dismount this is a really good option even though it's going to cost you a little bit more than some of the other e-bikes out there all right so let's talk about the things that I liked about the Magicycle Deer the first one is that it's a full suspension and you can see this here that you got the front suspension and then you have this uh, rear suspension so it's a soft tail. It just makes it to where you have a really comfortable ride. A lot of times we suggest that you get a suspension seat post to make your ride more comfortable. You don't even need that with this bike. So it's just really comfortable to ride um, and it made it to where even on bumpy, bumpy terrains it was still comfortable and it was fun. The second thing I really liked was the power. So you got a 750 watt motor, you have 96 newton meters of torque, and you have a top speed of 28 miles per hour, which by default it'll be 20, but then you can edit the settings to get to 28 really easily. And you can get to 28 really quickly and easily, pedaling on pedal assist. Um, so you can really feel the power. I, I took this bike on a couple trails, one of them, pretty steep inclines and it was pretty easy to ride and I could feel the power and I could feel the torque on this bike. So um, the power is definitely one of the things that I really liked. Next thing I really liked was the battery size. So it's a 52 volt, 20 amp hour. So you have over a thousand watt hours on this battery. It's a pretty big battery. So you're not really gonna deal with like range anxiety with this e-bike. Um, I never actually ran out and I rode it a few times on a couple pretty long rides, but um, I really like that you have over a thousand watt hours on this battery. The next thing that I really liked about the Deer is that it's a 52 volt system versus a 48. You probably should see more e-bikes with a 52 volt. You don't really see them that much even today, even though you see a lot of uh, updates on e-bikes, but uh, Magicycle put in a 52 volt on the Deer it's kind of nice because you get a little bit more power out of it and it's more efficient with the battery. So 52 versus 48, it's kind of nice that you have a 52 volt system on this e-bike. And the last thing I really liked, and you can see this here, is just the innovative frame. 
So I really like this innovative frame. I'm really into bikes that don't look like traditional bikes. Um, this is kind of nice that they don't have a traditional bike frame. So where the suspension is, it's a little bit different than what you would see for a full suspension e-bike or bike in general. So um, it's kind of nice that they came up with this innovative frame. And I also like the colors that they, that they have, that they offer with the deer. So we chose a yellow. I like really bright bikes. They have some really bright colors for this e-bike. All right, so those are things I really liked about the deer. Let me talk about some of the things that I didn't like. And there's a few things that I didn't like. There's, I really like this bike in general, but there's a few things that I didn't like. One of them is that it's really heavy. It's 92 pounds. So we talk about this a lot with fat tire e-bikes. Most fat tire e-bikes are probably 75, 80 pounds. This one's 92. So it's pretty heavy for even for a fat tire e-bike. And you can feel it, I think, you when, you, when I was slogging up going up some of the inclines. A motor could definitely take it, but this is a really heavy bike. The nice thing about the, the, the nice thing now is that Magicycle offers the deer light, so you can get the same version bike that actually weighs less. So it's a little bit of a smaller frame and it weighs less. So if the 92 pounds are, is a reason for you not to get this bike, there's another option that's a little bit lighter. The other thing that I really didn't like, and I took this on a couple mountain biking trails, was that it seemed kind of, and maybe it was because of the weight, but it just seemed difficult to go through some of the more technical trails. And I haven't gone on too many mountain biking trails, but I went on one here in Santa Barbara, and I took this bike, and we'll throw in some, some of the footage here, but it seemed a little too difficult for me to go through some of, some parts of the trail. So, um, I don't know if this is, if you were into mountain biking and you wanted to get an e-bike, if this is the right bike for you. Um, it's definitely good enough for trails and for uneven terrain because it's a full suspension and it makes it really comfortable. But I'm not so sure that it's a mountain biking e-bike. The last thing that I would say that to me I don't like so much is the price. So it's $2,500. You do get a lot because you get hydraulic brakes, you have a 52 volt, 20 amp hour battery, you have a 750 watt motor, full suspension. We did review not too long ago the Hachi Cheetah, or Heoki Hachi Cheetah, which is also full suspension. And that was around $2,000, this one's $2,500. Um, obviously, has, this has a bigger motor and it has more power and it has a bigger battery. And I think Magicycle has done a better job than what we know, the little bit that we know of Hachi versus when it comes to customer service. But I still think that it's a little bit on the pricier side. Now I've told you what I liked, what I didn't like, and now let me close it out for you. The Magicycle Deer is a great option if you're looking for a full suspension e-bike that has a legit 750 watt motor and you want a lot of torque because this one has 96 newton meters of torque. And it comes with other features like hydraulic brakes, it comes with a rack. So it's fully set up for you to actually go on a hiking trail or to go on a camping trip. And you, can see, you can't really see this here, but I have a pannier bag that's strapped to it right now. So I think it's a good option if you're looking for a comfortable ride and you want it to be a full suspension and you're looking for a fat tire e-bike and you want a 750 watt motor with a lot of torque. Thanks for watching this review and let us know if you have any questions or comments. If you enjoyed this review, please subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment. Visit us at top5ebikes.com or some of our social media accounts. Thank you.